The first part of audio editing is to assemble your footage and then lower the volume of the footage that you shot. So first I'm going to go ahead and take a clip of me unlocking, unlocking my cardboard iPhone. I'm going to put that into the project here. And then I'm going to go ahead and find a, a shot of me uh, playing a game uh, on my cardboard iPhone. Great. Okay, I like this clip here, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to my project. The next step I'll need to do is to click on the little gear icon next to both of the clips and choose Audio Adjustments. From Audio Adjustments, I'm going to reduce the volume of the clip all the way down to zero. I'll do that to both clips so I can go ahead and add audio on top of these clips that I've created myself. In iMovie, I can detach audio from a video clip and add it to a different place in my project. I shot a little bit of video of me unlocking my iPad, which I'm going to add to my project by clicking and dragging and bringing it down. Next, I'll right click on that clip and choose Detach Audio from the menu that appears. This makes my video and my audio two separate elements. I'll move the audio over here and delete the video. When I click that little audio waveform button in the bottom right, you can see now I can see these little jaggy bumpy lines that indicates where the unlock sound is. I'm going to click and drag on the right and left side of my audio clip to uh, make the audio shorter and then click on the gear and choose audio adjustments to make it a little bit louder. Now I can drag this audio clip into the part of my project where it makes sense. You can see I had to adjust it a couple of times to make the audio match the video. Now I can repeat the process so I can get the sound of me playing the game. I'm going to go up here to my event and choose a little bit of video in which I have myself playing the game, bring it down to my project, right click and choose detach audio. I can then trim the audio clip from the right and left to make it a little bit shorter and drag it over underneath the video of me playing my cardboard iPhone. After I delete my original video, I can see how the whole thing sounds all together with the unlock and game sound. Next, I'll repeat the process a third time so I can capture room tone. I just shot a number of seconds of my office to get the sound of the arc, and I'm going to detach the audio and add that over the entire video clip so I have a nice consistent room tone across the whole video. Now that I have my room tone and Foley done, let's see what it sounds like and then we'll get ready to do some ADR. Okay, let's record some ADR. I'm going to click the little microphone button right here and then click once where I want my recording to start. Mmm, can't wait to play my favorite app. Mmm, can't wait to play my favorite app. That actually sounds a little bit muddy to me, so I'm going to delete that and choose a different microphone. You may or may not have this option, and that's okay. Can't wait to play my favorite app. Can't wait to play my favorite app. iMovie automatically reduces the volume of every other track when you do a voiceover recording. But we want to completely control the audio, so go to your voiceover recording, click the gear, audio options, and then turn off ducking. Can't wait to play my favorite app. Let's repeat that process to do a little bit of voiceover while I'm playing the game. And once again, I have to remember to turn off ducking on my voiceover recording. Okay, let's find out how our video looks with room tone, Foley, and ADR. Ah! 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 Ah!
and try again. Can't wait to play my favorite app. Well. <laughs> 